Hi, welcome to the PD Podcast. I'm Paul DeBellis, and today we're tackling a topic, EMF radiation and how it affects our brain health. And today we have a very special guest, Rebecca Sidden, to talk about the topic. Rebecca, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me on today, Paul. You're welcome. As you know, our brains are highly sensitive organs. And there's a growing concern about how EMF radiation might be affecting them. Prolonged exposure to EMF radiation has been linked to changes in brain activity, sleep disturbances, cognitive impairments, insomnia, headaches, and depression. A study in the scientific reports in 2018 highlighted changes in brainwave activity after just 30 minutes of cell phone use. Imagine the effects over a lifetime. Yeah, it's uh, pretty amazing. And I'm sure everyone can relate to these effects that we're all experiencing in our lives. And it seems like it's gotten worse over the years. And obviously, we can go back and we can prove scientifically that uh, this has affect all of us. So what can we do, Rebecca? Well, the good news is that there are practical steps that we can take to minimize our exposure to EMF and radiation. Um, You know, we can't control our environment when we go out in public, but we can control our environment in our household. So whenever possible, let's use wired connections. Keep your devices away from your body, especially during sleep. I charge my phone in the kitchen. Using speaker mode or earphones for calls can also make a big difference. And don't charge your electronics in your bedroom. I take micronutrients that protects my cells from radiation and 5G 24-7. Well, you know, I believe that awareness and education are definitely the key Uh, We need to stay informed in making small changes in our daily habits. We can reduce our exposure and potentially mitigate some of the risks associated with EMF radiation. Uh, So I just really appreciate you bringing some of the highlights. I know there's so much more and I know you couldn't go deep into everything we need to know about it, but in conclusion, uh, we know that the advent of 5G and the widespread use of wireless technology uh, brings incredible benefits to us because we all use it, but we know there's potential risks and we need to be very cautious and take certain precautionary measures to be able to mitigate those effects in our body. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I just want to thank you again for coming on. How, how can people find out more about, uh, the supplements we can take and some more information that you can provide for them. Yeah, Paul, they can go to the uh, QR code on the screen or they can go to nutrition through science.com. Well, great. Again, Rebecca, thank you so much. This has been another PD podcast and the topic today was radiation and brain health until next time. Take care. Be mindful of the invisible frequencies all around us. God bless you guys, and I will see you on the inside.